Welcome to this new lesson of Visual Basic. In today's lesson, we will learn about the menu strip control. I have Visual Studio Community 2015 open. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call this VP menu strip and click OK. Alright, now I need to find the menu strip control and it should be down here where it says uh, controls uh, right here, pointer controls right here. So I'm gonna drag and drop it and as you can see I have uh, the menu here where it says type here. This is what I'm gonna type my menus and this is the control itself at the component tray. So why do we need to use the menu strip? We need to use the menu strip to add menus, submenus and add uh, new items to our form. Now there are two ways to add uh, menus and submenus. There is uh, an easy way and there is uh, a little harder way. I'm gonna show you the easy way then we're gonna work on the uh, hard way together. The easy way is to come here, right click and choose this insert standard items. I'm going to click it and there it is. So if I click here, look, it added all of this to me without me writing any code to it. Right here, as you can see, it added all these menus and submenus without me writing a single code. I'm going to run this. bring it here and as you can see these submenus don't do anything to me yet because I didn't write any code to them but soon when we learn how to write code we're gonna add some code to some of these submenus okay let's close these and I'm gonna uh, come here and add a new item and this time I'm going to add a new Windows form. So form 2. Yes, I'm going to just edit. And uh, I'm going to add the menu strip control. Uh, I'm going to look for it. It's right here. Okay, now the harder way is to come here and type the following. I'm going to type file okay now to create a sub menu I'm gonna come here and say open and I'm gonna say save here and the third one I'm gonna say exit let me click out and click again and there it is now to add an underline here I'm gonna come before the O and put an ampersand okay and as you can see it added an underline to me here right here as you can see under the O I'm gonna come before the S for the save and add an ampersand and before the exit here or before the E for the exit I'm gonna add an ampersand click out and let's take a look and there it is okay to add another uh, menu I'm gonna come here and say edit okay and here I'm gonna type uh, undo and here cut and here copy and right here I'm gonna type paste alright so we added another menu and we added sub menus to it now let's add some uh, shortcuts I'm gonna come here pick open and scroll down and look for shortcuts 
all right shortcut keys it says none here I'm gonna uh, add one so I'm gonna pick the control click on the control checkbox then choose another key and I'm gonna choose the word uh, O the letter O okay I'm gonna look for the letter O and choose it this is it all right so and I'm gonna click out for the save I'm gonna scroll down to the uh, short keys and I'm gonna say control and look for the letter S and there it is okay and for the exit I'm gonna choose control and uh, the letter E let's look for the letter E and there it is okay so if we look here we have these uh, shortcuts okay I'm gonna run it uh, sorry this is the I have to come here and change the the form come here okay here I'm gonna start with form 2 okay so you right click on the project go to properties and switch it to form 2 so that it starts from form 2 all right I'm gonna close this and run it and there it is okay in all okay and there you go so to activate this you have to click alt I clicked the alt key on my keyboard to activate this so that you can see them and as you can see we have uh, created a beautiful professional menus uh, and we will write code to them uh, in the next lesson and with this we come to the end of this lesson I would like to thank you for watching and you have a good day